The word power in Middle English means to be able. St. Paul speaks about the power of God's Spirit being poured out into our hearts. The Blessed Mother is told, the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And last week we were reminded that you, you would receive power to be the witnesses of the Lord in this world. Today the apostles, they're hiding behind a closed, locked door. They're afraid. They're afraid to let go of their fear and the anxiety and the doubt. And all of a sudden, the power of the Spirit floods over them, and they're able to walk out of that room. They're able to walk out of that upper room believing and say, we are able. So power is not static. Power is dynamic. So that every person we meet, every person we meet in our family, our neighborhood, work or at school, should be able to say, having experienced the power of God's Spirit in our own lives right here at Christ's Servant, they should be able to be able to say, they are more able to love. They are more able to show compassion. And they are more able to forgive. Why? Because of the Spirit in your life. Our task on this Pentecost 2019, as God's community, is to be able to link the power that is in this world and the power of the Spirit together being able to create a harmony, a harmony in our homes, a harmony in our community, a harmony in our nation, and a harmony in our world. We should not hold back forgiveness and compassion and mercy, but rather what we should hold back and retain is the power of evil that can manifest itself so readily and in so many ways in our community, in our world. Imagine, I love that word imagine, but imagine each of us walking out of here today believing that we are able to make a difference and change our world and our community. That we are able to change our families that we are able to change if there's broken relationships. That we are able to change our neighborhoods and our community. Imagine that. No matter the date, no matter the place, the language, the Spirit gives shape to who we are. Shaped by the power of the Spirit in you, that means we are able. Christianity is the permission, the urgency, and the disposition to live in this world here and now as if we are able to do all things. That power is given to us. And so within that ability, I pray and I'm asking you to consider on this the birthday of the church to help fashion a church, a transforming church in our world, recreating not only Christ the servant, but creating the validity, the authenticity of our church in the world today that needs it so desperately. But to change it right here, begin right here, reaffirming that each day, that we are able to be genuine and authentic witnesses of God's Spirit. Priests, bishops, everyone. Now in order to do this, there are areas that you are able to help. Perhaps it's right here in this neighborhood that surrounds this church. Maybe it's in your neighborhood, right where you live. 
Maybe it's reaching out to a non-practicing member of our community. Or, maybe a non-practicing member in your family. I need to do that. Maybe sharing with others here at Christ the Servant and being a real presence. A real presence in the lives of those celebrating their baptism, making their first communion reaching out to those who are soon to be married or have just recently been married, reaching out to them, not just being passive, not being locked in this room, afraid to speak to someone. Perhaps it's giving of your time and reaching out and welcoming the families who have children in our school, so many representing the most vulnerable in our community, or being a real presence again in the wider community of all of our schools, reaching out to each of our young people and doing that with some passion and courage, the courage of the Spirit. Or maybe it's planning and sharing in a time of hospitality, planning small community meals right here where we can invite the stranger, where we can invite those who who haven't experienced our, our faith in our life, but doing that for real, not just saying it, not just talking about it, but doing it, or gathering for prayer at special times, especially in the lives of those who are sick, those who are, have concerns, those who have family concerns. So in the pew, there's a postcard with various areas where you are able, I believe you are able, to share your life. If you are willing to share, or maybe even discover your gifts, I would like you to take a moment, pass those cards down, because they're all in the middle aisle, so you got to stretch yourself a little bit, okay? And I would like you to read, and if you could indicate an area of interest that maybe you would find interesting and for you. And we will be contacting you to share at a dinner, discussing with others who have a similar interest area, allowing the Spirit to strengthen you as stewards of God's power. Now, we have a, a young woman in our parish a high school student who just graduated from Jackson High School, Marissa Cooper. Her mother, Jennifer Cooper, I mentioned, is one of our Title I teachers. Marissa chose Hope Outreach as her senior capstone project for her Global Studies course. Marissa collected and delivered over 2,000 items for Hope Outreach. On May 15th, Senior Service Day, Marissa led a group of 12 girls to Hope Outreach. They cleaned, organized, sorted, and moved items for Pastor Marilyn. Her parents are Jennifer and David Cooper and Grandma Margaret Delgado. -Gal but this is what one person was able to do because she believed that she was able. And she empowered others, her classmates, to do the same. Imagine the power we have if we use that power. If you would take that moment now to mark one interest area, if you have one, uh, we will contact you. The ushers will collect those with those areas of stewardship that you're willing to share. They will collect those with your regular financial stewardship contribution in the collection.